Hello, I'm Amy Eastwood. I'm going to go through about an hour of a vinyasa type yoga practice, um, which will exhilarate our whole bodies. So when we're in this state of being indoors a lot, um, we need to focus on regaining our inner strength and letting that shine externally. So by building a little bit of heat inside, we radiate that outwards as well. So hopefully you'll feel energized and like you've done something nice for your body with this practice. So having said that, we'll start in a simple seated position, any position of your choice. You can sit as I am on your heels or have your legs in a simple cross-legged position, just making sure you're in a comfortable space spot where you can last for about four or five minutes. So let's start. We'll bring our attention inwards and you're, um, you're offered to open or close your eyes, whatever suits you. I'll close my eyes. I'm going to rest my gaze down and inward. And I'm going to focus on my breath. So we'll bring our attention to our breathing and we'll feel the breath coming in and out through our nose. And what we're looking for with the quality of this breath for the next, um, for the entire practice, the next 50, 55 minutes, we're looking to attain an even tone, an even as if it's a, a, a breath in a straight line as you inhale and a straight line as you exhale. So we'll focus on that. As you breathe in through your nose, you feel the breath moving down into the base of your belly. And then it gently rises up through the belly, through the ribs, up through your chest, just about up to the collarbones and a little bit beyond. And as we let the breath go, we find this graceful, natural quality of exhale, leaving our body, allowing the body to return back. And we'll pause at the bottom of the exhale. Drawing your next breath in evenly, smoothly, with grace. Feeling that sense that the breath is rising up. And we pause at the top of the inhale. We sit in that space. And then we'll let the breath go. Exhale, feel your belly move inwards. Feel your heart space opening up to the sky. Okay, we're gonna do this with our hands. As we breathe in, we feel the breath move down into the base of our belly, into the bottom hand. And once it's filling, it starts to rise up through the belly, through the ribs, and into our top hand. And we'll pause, add a little bit of space at the top of the in-breath. So it's not holding your breath, it's just allowing it to stop and settle in that space. And then as we let the breath out, we feel both the hands gently returning back in. And we'll bow into that space as well. And we pause at the bottom of the out breath, feeling that the lungs are empty, there's nothing there. We hold that space and spend a little time there. And when the body's ready to draw the next breath in, it will. Breathing in, let your chest Rise with the inhale, pause, exhale, we'll bow in gracefully, just a gentle bow in and we'll pause. Do, do three more of these types of breaths.
find your own timing. But notice the quality of your breath, graceful, long, smooth breath in. And a graceful, long, smooth breath out. And when you've completed your third final out breath, you're going to bring your hands to your legs and invite a little stretch into your shoulders. If your eyes are closed, you can open them up. We'll gaze over each shoulder just to incorporate a little movement in the top of the spine. Okay, and then if you're sitting the way I am, we'll bring our legs forward. If you're sitting in cross-legged, we'll draw the legs forward with a little bit of a gap between the feet, I'm holding on to my knees. I'm sitting at the tips of my sit bones, so you feel your spine nice and tall. Okay, and from the side, this is a really good way to view what's happening here. Tips of the sit bones are down. Okay, my, my posture's long. So the top of the spine, all the way down to the base. Nice and long breath, uh, long posture. And as we breathe in, we're gonna use our hands to pull ourselves forwards. And let's bring the front of the throat to open up so we look back, you sort of lean back. And as we breathe out, the belly comes in, and you hold on to your knees and you use your heels like you're skidding this way. So feel that push back and you round back. And I'm gripping my knees. I'm looking at my belly. Breathing in, come forwards. Open up, keep the head back. Breathing out. Start to draw the belly button in, feel the feet like they want to skid forwards, and the gaze follows the navel in. So look down. As I breathe in, feel the feet. It's as if they want to come in like this and bunch up your mat, just like I'm, I'm doing here. So that's the action of the legs. Pause at the in breath, at the top. Exhale. Let your navel return back, 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 in towards the spine. And you have a look down in that space. We'll do three more of those. Breathing in, sending yourself forwards. Exhale, navel comes back and in. legs to the ground, just to stretch our ankles, move your shoulders, you move whatever feels as if it's asking for movement, move those areas, we'll lace the fingers for a moment, push the hands away, and like you're pushing into a gas pedal, we're walking our feet up, okay, rolling our shoulders, okay, and then release your hands, move the joints of all the fingers, Circle the feet the other way. Okay. Now, <clears throat> bring your feet back to the floor. We're going to do the same thing, but it's a little bit more energetic. So remember, breathing in forward, breathing out, navel in, and rounding back. But we'll incorporate, that was a big um, working with the back body. Now we'll incorporate the front body. So that's what we refer to, you hear, core. So we're going to refer to um, our navel area as a core. Okay, so that's where we'll feel that working. So let's begin sitting up tall on the sit bones. Okay, take the breath in. Exhale. So here's this variation. If you feel comfortable here, you've got any lower back issues, you hold the hands here. And we'll do the first one like that. Breathing in. 
Let the spine ripple forward. Exhale, slide back. Here's where the core begins to feel engaged. Coming back. Breathing in, coming forwards. Exhale back. So the action with the feet is important. As I breathe in, the feet want to do this. I'm just demonstrating. Here's the action of the feet like this, pulling in. As I breathe out, I push away. The navel will draw in with that action. Let's sweep through. A couple more. Breathing in. Two more. Last one, breathing in through the nose. Breathing out. Good. Bring the feet together. Lace your fingers at the knees. Lift your feet. Okay, just give a hug in and curl in. Now you can do this with your feet lifted or you can place them down. It's just about having a little bit of a play Stretching what feels like it's asking to be stretched. Okay, now <clears throat> let's bring our legs through and make our way into cat cow. Right, so hands are placed under your shoulders and knees are under your hips. Okay, so before we begin, we feel the elbows out, the quality in the shoulders, and then elbows in. You can feel the quality there. So you can actually see that. When I'm twisting my elbows out, my hands want to come so my fingers point each other. Okay, and then when my hands, index fingers pointing towards the top of the mat, I can feel that quality there. It feels more open on the sides of my neck. Okay, so press your knees down and feel the energy of the belly lifting up. As your knees push down, there's a nice tailbone and pubic bone movement there. So push your knees down. We'll have a look in that direction. Okay, be nice and open in the arm so the energy from the hand rises up the arm into the shoulder. And you connect to the ground and let the energy rise up from the knees, from the hands. And that's what creates the arch of the Halloween-shaped cat. Okay, it's what's connecting into the earth. So let's breathe in and let the spine lengthen. The crown of the head moves forwards, tailbone moves towards my heels and back. There it is. As I breathe out, I push my knees, push my hands, and I look towards my navel and see it draw up. And then let it surrender, lengthen, Exhale, knees push, belly rises up, and the back of the neck feels that nice stretch there. Shall we do three more? Breathe in. Lengthen your spine in opposite directions through the crown of your head, through the tailbone, pause. Push your knees, push your hand, and gaze underneath your body. See your belly rise up. Last one. See my elbows? They're absorbing the energy. Look forward, stretch. Give a nice push, round. Okay, add a little bit of a rock in your hips, side to side. Okay, and then we'll take them into hip circles. Because that's what felt really natural right there for me to be doing. So let's all do that together. Circling your hips. And you feel connected in your hands, so let the hands push you back and pull you forward. And you push back. And then we'll slow down this last one. Nice and slow movement. You can work the shoulders. And we'll just switch up the direction. We'll go the other way. Push back, and maybe this is a bit bigger. Circles, forwards. And then we'll 
we'll do one more of those. Okay, so we're gonna push back and come forwards and just wag your tail and have your gaze as you wag your tail to the left, we're looking over the left shoulder and then change sides. We'll do that a couple more times. back into our neutral tabletop. Okay, We're going to walk our hands back to sit on our heels just for a moment. We'll give our shoulders a little break. Let's we'll give our wrists a little break. Okay, for a moment. We'll sit back here. Again, if this isn't suitable for you, for whatever reason, you can come into cross-legged. We're going to work with the arms here. Okay, so collarbones. Okay, where the collarbones meet, like the throat, so the hollow of the throat. Bring our fingers here. Elbows are high. Okay, we're looking over each shoulder. And I'm going to run my fingers on my collarbones till they get to the tips of my shoulders. And then I'm going to bring my arms like wings and spread them out. And then I'm, I'm going to work with the breath here. I'm going to breathe in and imagine my arms being pulled in opposite directions, lengthening. As I exhale, it just gently folds back into itself. Okay, we'll work with the hands. We're going to lengthen out and turn our palms up. We'll take our gaze up as well. And then exhale. There's my belly drawing in. And it's just a gentle surrender. Breathing in. Do that one more time. Bring your palms to face up. And surrendering in, we'll bring our fingertips back to the collarbones where they meet here. Okay, and we'll roll our shoulders, just wake up the shoulders. Okay. Wag your chin. Okay, lift your elbows again if they've softened and sagged. You want to be active in the shoulder and the elbows. Okay, elbows and shoulders. So again, bring your fingertips to run along the collarbones. And then breathe the arms out. And then rotate your thumbs back, so palms up. And you feel this. You can see what happens here. Folding in. This is our surrender, our exhale. It's like our cat. As we breathe in, we lift our heart, and this heart is like an offering up, so it opens up. And the breath is optimized for an inhale, nice, smooth through the nose. Exhale, gentle bow, belly in. And you can start to play around with how much rotation the hands are doing. So now my palms are facing up but backwards, and then I'm folding them open, lifting up. By now you feel something happening in those shoulders and the arms. We'll take one more. Rotate the palms up. And then exhale, bowing into yourself. Now start to bring your hands forwards until they interlace into one another. Okay, lace them together, feel the knuckles. And then bend the elbows, so elbows stay at the height of your shoulders, and then you're making a, a circular shape. So feel like you're gonna do that, but you don't let that go. So we come here, okay, and then we're gonna bring our palms to face out, and we're gonna breathe out there. We breathe in, bring the shoulders back, chest is broad, breathe out, round, Navel, drawing in. One more. Good, and then just give yourself a little stretch. So some of this is really just warming up and stretching and working with your whole body, and it's a bit of body awareness. So you 
become connected with what your body's asking to, um, to do instead of what your mind is moving on to want to do. I want to do exercise, I want to do core stuff. So respond to what your body's doing and it's going to really benefit you. Okay, so let's come into a cat cow again. Okay, this time I've got my toes tucked under. Okay, tucked under. Okay, and I'm active in my hands. Okay, my neck is nice and open. I tend to hold tension on my neck, so I, I like to move my head a lot. Okay, so I'm feeling my hands in the ground, and I'm going to use that energy in the hands to push back into my sit bones. And then I can start to manipulate my hips. Just ease into that. So from here, my hands feel like they want to move forward a little bit. Now, we're going to come up into a down dog, but before we do, we make sure the elbows are straight. Elbows are straight. Okay. And then I'm looking towards my knees. Okay. And when you're ready, we're going to breathe in and lift our knees away from the mat, nice and evenly. Make any adjustments. So the shape is an upside down V. Okay, upside down V shape. And we're using our hands to push back. Okay, sit bones, come back. And I'm imagining my bum is moving towards the wall. Okay, so the thighs push back. And now if I'm here, if my heels are lifted, if you have that where your heels are lifted, it's okay. You want to work with your legs straightening. Okay. And then eventually the heels will begin to settle down over time, over a longer practice. Okay, so push yourself back. Now let's spend three breaths. Here just feeling the downward dog. Okay, and then we're going to start to look right under our belly. And then look up towards our hands and beyond, if it's there. So shifting your gaze forwards and back. Okay. Now, I'm looking at my right foot. I'm going to let my right foot reach back. Reach it back. Good. And that's an inhale. Now, we're going to turn our toes out. And back down to touch, to, to point towards the floor. And then point them out and down. Okay, you feel that your hips start to move here. And then let that foot down. Settle down in your down dog. We're just going to do the other side. Lift your left leg up. So I'm not going for height. I want to be able to see my foot turn out to the side and turn back down and turn So you're moving your femur bone, the thigh bone, in the hip socket. Nice and movey, juicy, nice. Okay, good. So let's bring the both feet down. Downward dog. This is a long hold. So let's bring our right leg back. So breathe it back. Start to look forward. We bend that knee. You bring it as close to your body as you can. And we're going to step that foot forward and drop our back knee down. Okay, now let's work with the shoulders here. Because that's my tendency. Take your hands into an interlace behind you. Bring the shoulders back. Okay, now my hands are, are together firmly and I bring them like I'm reaching for my back heel. Okay, so let the shoulders open. Turn your gaze up. And then just enjoy that stretch in the shoulders. Breathe through it. Okay. Now, <clears throat> we're going to brush our fingers on the floor. Lift the back knee up. And start to work towards straightening the front knee. Now the back heel is high. We're going to just start kind of mellow. Okay, as we breathe in, we drop that knee down. We're going to bring our arms up. 
nice and wide, so it's a mellow start. And then the hands come down, breathing out, breathing out, bowing in. Breathe in through the nose, smooth, slow, inhale. The knee comes down, the heart rises up. We look up between the hands, pause, exhale, fold. Good, shall we do one other one? Breathe in, why don't we do two more? Breathe in, open up, look back. Exhale, bowing. Shall we do one more? Drop the knee down. Bring the arms forward. Sweep them forward. Stretch up. Look up. Good. Come up. Very good. Now we're bringing our hands to frame the front foot. And as I breathe out, remember the breath comes out the belly tucks in to your body, okay? And that will help make space for that front foot to come back. Okay, <clears throat> let's bring our knees down. Sit into the heels, look at your hands, spread them out like starfishes. My index finger is pointing towards the top of the mat, and then I'm looking towards my knees. So this is our nice setup for down dog. When you're ready, you breathe in and let your knees rise up. Breathe in, stretch, and then breathe out. Relax the hips back, the heels maybe drop a little closer to the floor. We'll settle into two more breaths here. Resist the urge to fidget. Now on your next in breath, the left foot is going to reach back, breathe in. It's like blowing up one of those long balloons. Filling up the leg. Breathe out, bend the knee, look forwards. Look to where you want your foot to end up, and it'll go there. And if it doesn't, then you, if you come a little bit shy, you drop the knee and you bring that foot forward. Okay, we come into the shoulders again. We're going to lace in the opposite index finger in front. Okay, so adjust yourself, shoulders back. Good, open the heart space. Good opening here, nice and broad in the collarbones. And we're gonna take this a little bit deeper on this side. We're gonna fold and rest our left ribs along the inside of that left leg. Great, bring your hands up towards the sky. Good, look under, look towards your tummy. Good, breathe. Inhale, smooth. There comes a time in my own personal practice where the breath just feels nice to, through the mouth as you exhale. <sighs> One of those. Okay, now reach back towards that back heel. All right, open up, bring your arms up. See if you found more space. Can the arms come a little closer together? Lift the heart, look up. Exhale, the hands down. We did five of these on the first side, so let's do the same amount. Come, fold yourself in. If it's not um, a straight leg, then that's okay. We're gonna ease into that. Breathe in, lower the back knee. Good. Feel energy through the front foot, lifting you up. Pause. Exhale. Belly draws in. Fold in. Good. Breathe in, look up, stretch up. Exhale, navel returns in. Push the feet down, fold, and hold the bottom of the out breath. That's a lovely space to find. Breathing in. Last 
time. Now I breathe in and I come into this runner's lunge with both my hands framing the front foot. As I breathe out, my belly rises up towards my back body and it makes room for that foot to move through. Now I like to realign myself before I set up into down dog. So knees down, toes tucked under, look back, breathe in and lift. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward dog. Straighten your elbows. Bring your chin to your throat, ears in line with your upper arms. Good, feel your feet. Feel the grounding of your feet and the grounding of your hands. Feel as if the hands are pushing you back. Okay, now I'm gonna look at my right foot. That's the one that's gonna to start to move. Okay, as I breathe in, the breath moves through the back of the leg and it lifts up. As I breathe out, my tummy draws in, I come into that cat shape, I look forwards, and I bring that back, uh, that right foot forward. Drop your back knee. Breathe in, lift up, arms reach, Anjaneyasana, crescent lunge. Okay, exhale, soften the feet down. The feet feel like they're moving in this direction. As I breathe in, I pull the feet together, like the mat would bunch up in the middle. As I breathe out, I split the mat in half by that action in the feet. So feel that in the feet. If the arms are tired, bring them here. Let's, we can all come here. Breathe in, feet, push, activate, and that creates this lovely lift. Exhale and bring everything together. Right, everything comes together. Good, breathe in. Last two. <sighs> belly in, belly in. Still exhaling. Step back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Three breaths. Now you really feel your thighs here. So our left foot's gonna be the next, next one to go. So breathe in, stretch it back. Okay, however far up you would like to go, breathe out, belly in, knee comes tucking in, look. Send that foot forward, drop the back knee in, down. Breathe in, lengthen up, and then the back knee can come to rise up. Enjoy the crescent lunge, there it is. So if you're like me, I sort of suffer in my back. I have some back issues. I don't go into a full back bend. If you've got that mobility, you take it into more of a, a back bend. Exhale, remember this action? Exhale, legs pull together. Okay, inhale, it's like that action with the legs. Feet activate, feet activate. Right, so feel that with the arms lifted. Breathe in, stretch the mat apart, rip, the ha uh, rip it in half, and then exhale, bring it back together. <sighs> Belly in, two more breaths. <sighs> Last one, make it count, breathe in, look up. And then from the navel, pull it in, bring your hands down, step back. That's all on one exhale. And then when you breathe in, you're coming into down dog. Three breaths. How rewarding. <sighs> right, last breath. Good, let the heels rise on the next in breath. And then let them soften down. And we're gonna take little steps, maybe eight steps per foot forwards. Keeping your elbows straight as much as you can. Forwards, forwards. I'm obviously not counting, but I'm taking little steps. 
Good. I'm going to wiggle my big toes together. So bring your big toes together and bring your hands onto your elbows and let your torso hang. So you feel the backs of the legs lengthening. Good. There's a little bit more weight in the front of the feet. So when you're back in the heels, your bum is far beyond your heels. So you want to come a little bit forward and then you let the top of your head drop. Good, and then let your arms release. Okay, we're gonna um, draw our belly in so it's active. Sort of have a moment of holding your breath in. Come up with a flat back, power up. We'll finish up with the sun salutation, reaching up. Exhale down. Good. That's a nice long, nice um, strong standing sequence. So let's do um, a warrior two. We've worked with the arms, right? We've worked with these arms. The legs are nice and open. So do some warrior two. Um, and we'll start here in the middle of your mat. Fingertips come to the space at your collarbones, right? This is your elbows are coming up. So don't let them be saggy. Okay, none of this. The arms have lots of power in these warrior poses okay so we're gonna either step the legs out wide or give them a nice hop so buoyant legs there it is and then pop the legs apart roughly wrists above your ankles okay both heels in line now i'm going to turn my right set of toes to the short uh, side of my mat okay and then i'm going to do this action of plugging my legs into my hips so you feel that as we talked about, as you exhale, you pull everything together like the mat bunches up. And then as I breathe in, the arms sweep out. And that can be this from the collarbones. But I'm looking over this right hand and always invite yourself to look at your own body. Sometimes you see this, oh, I know where that is. So I can see my own body where it is, right? Now, one thing to do, it's quite a nice way to feel this pose. Okay, we're not quite there in the pose yet. We're going to feel as if we're opening up a giant book. So before you slam the book shut, you open up this book and then hold that. Turn the palms down. Front right knee bends. Bend it, bend it. And I'm looking at the knee as it bends. It's tracking over the, the little toes. And I can keep it nice and high for the first couple breaths. So breathe in, legs lengthen. Good. Lengthen out the crown of your head. As I exhale, navel returns in, and I feel that sense of everything is drawing back. My shoulders plug in, my legs plug into their hips. And I do that two more times. Breathe in, lengthen. As you exhale, sometimes space is created on that out breath. You can go a little deeper. We'll do one more breath. Good, lovely. We'll bring our hands to have a little break on our hips. Straighten this right knee. Turn those toes forwards. Turn the left set of toes towards the short side of the mat. Okay, feel your feet, back. This is my back leg now, my right leg. It's strong, the hip is plugged in. This is strong too, but this is where this knee bends. So let's take the arms out, our wings, spread them out, have a look, where are they? I like where they are, they're relaxed in my throat. This is kind of, I feel sometimes this is like giving a little bit of attitude, right? A warrior pose is strong. So you have your chin slightly open and you optimize your breathing as well. Okay, as we breathe in, we'll start to bend that front knee, feel those legs powering out, arms reaching, crown of the head lifting. As I exhale, my navel comes in and everything plugs back into the torso. And notice the quality of your feet as you do that. Breathe in. Push away, lengthen, 
exhale, draw your belly in. Let's we'll do two more of those. So as we breathe in, we open, we make this big, bold statement outwards. And as we receive that lengthening, we pull it back in and let it bring us to a deeper space. Maybe there's some space there. Okay, let's breathe in. Straighten the front knee. Let your hands return back to the hips. Soften your knees. Okay, the jump together isn't for everyone. Either walk your feet together or pop them back together. Good, okay. <clears throat> so we'll do one more warrior two for three breaths. Okay, beginning here, breathe in, soften your knees. Exhale, step or hop, out wide. Right toes point towards the front of your mat. Breathe in, lengthen, bend the front knee. Look over the front hand. Exhale. See if you feel there's more space here. Breathe in. Arms reach. Turn your left toes to point towards the short end of the mat. And then take your warrior two here. Always, uh, you can always have a look at yourself, okay, where you are. Good, let's do three breaths. Inhale, exhale is one breath. As you breathe in, you come out. Come out on an in-breath. Look up, stretch up, press your hands together, and then pop your legs back together. Good, stand in mountain pose. Absorb your standing sequence. Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Take a pause. Life still goes on around us. Lovely. Okay, let's breathe in. Stretch up. Good. Feet are together. Breathe out. Fold in half with softness in the knees. Lace your fingers behind you. Drop your head down. Bring your chin towards your throat. And then the hands come up and overhead. Now we focus on lifting our sit bones up. Okay, let the shoulders draw up. It's as if someone's got a hold of my wrist and they're pulling me up so it's not here. Open up. Now you imagine as you're in this forward fold that you're gripping a block between your knees so the legs are moving towards one another. And notice that that helps you with your, your balance. Let's let our hands come to the floor. Now bend your knees. So the fingers can drag along the floor, and we're gonna come up from there. Okay. Release your arms to your sides. Let's breathe in. We're gonna to come to sitting. Breathe in, lift, look up, breathe out, fold. Okay, we're gonna fold, drop our knees. Okay. <clears throat> we're gonna to come to sitting down. Sit in um, cross-legged. I'll sit and face you guys. Sit in a comfortable cross-legged position. And just circle our hips here. So what's nice about these simple movements is becoming aware of your your own physical body. Do you feel the bones? of your hips, the sit bones, you feel one, and then you feel the other, and you connect with that. Do you feel what feels different, or if they feel the same, if something feels like it's tight, you tune in, let's change the direction. 
and maybe you don't feel that today, that's, it. that's okay too. Just becoming aware of your own structure is important. Where is your breathing? See if you can tune back in, find that inner space. The breath is smooth and graceful and long on both the inhale and the exhale. I'm gonna slow it down. I'm gonna use my hands to pull my knees up. And I'm gonna give them a little hug. Okay, and I'm not squeezing in here. I'm nice and long in my neck. Okay, so hold and squeeze everything in. I like to think of this as, this is doing something to my inner organs. It's like rinsing out. So we've got a lot of our body which requires movement in order to drain like the lymphatic system. So all this is very beneficial. Okay, <clears throat> let's come onto our back. Okay, now you can spend a lot of time here on your back, especially if you're, um, you have any struggles in your back and spine. Okay, so I'm holding on to my knees. It's like levers. I'm gonna pull one knee, pull the other knee. See if you can let your legs just be like spaghetti. And pull. Now if you feel that your um, neck is really disconnected, your neck is, your chin is jutting up, you can put a pillow under your head. Now with my hands, I'm gonna Fly my knees apart. Now let your feet be floppy. There's no sense of holding in the feet. And I'm going to bring myself into a left and right movement. And this is just to become aware of our supine um, change of our body, of our positioning. So we're on our backs now. So we're easing into that. Okay, let's come back to the center and push our knees back together, and we can form a little ball, we'll squeeze in, hug in. And then we're gonna let it out. You're gonna do that, what you do in the morning, you probably don't realize it, maybe sometimes you do, but we all do this big stretch in the morning. And when we do the whole body is in, involved, from the toes to the fingertips, Okay, so let's uh, do a little simple bridge pose. We bring our feet in. As I bring my hands down my hips, my hands are like karate chop. I brush the outside edges of my feet and I can find my heels there. Okay, the outer heel. Okay, and now my backs and my legs are pressing together into one another. I can feel my heels. And I'm going to adjust my lower spine Lift your bum and bring your lower back so it's flat on the floor. Okay, and then you just let it rise and it's your own natural S curve. And then the shoulders, see if you can find how to broaden the shoulders. So let them lie back. Okay, okay now if you have a block or a pillow under your head, you can take it out now. Okay, so as we breathe, we're going to push into our feet and our hands and the tips of our shoulders push down okay and the hips are lifting up and there's space under my body and as i breathe out my belly draws in and it brings my body back down belly in lower back is round and then you feel the s curve the lift okay so this is kind of a circular movement you might feel this as you breathe in, you push your heels down, push your hands and your shoulders so the collarbones are broadening and the thighs move forward. So bring your thighs, slide them forward beyond your knees. And then as you breathe out, the belly draws in, the lower back is kind of in that tuck under what feels nice here is when you press the feet before you do anything, the action of the pushing of the feet will automatically bring your tailbone, wrap it under. Okay, so push into the feet, 
push into the hands and shoulders and let your back body press to lift the top body up. Your back body's working the whole of the hands. Pause at the top of the in-breath. Do a little push into the back of your head. And then exhale, shh, soften, soften, soften. So soften with action. Okay, breathe in. Press lift. Pause. out and pause. Breathe in. Let the spine feel as if it's rippling up. Getting that nice sunshine on my face. Release down. So the release is active but surrendering. Do one more. Breathe in. Let your thighs slide forward beyond the knees. Let the heart lift up. Give a little push into the back of the head to keep the front throat soft. Pause. You can always adjust and go a little deeper, but we're not going too deep today. Exhale on this. So just working with movement. Good. Exhale. We'll start with grabbing one knee in, hug one knee, lift our head up towards that knee. I've got my fingers laced over the leg. You can do that hug. And then let that leg stretch out, just that leg. Stretch the leg, stretch the arms. And bring the both feet to the floor and just bring the um, opposite leg up. Hug in, tuck in. Notice where the shoulders sit, put it into your ears, soften them down, draw yourself in. And then let that foot go, stretch it away. Take a stretch on that side. And then we'll stretch the whole body. Push your hips down, let the lower back slightly arch. And then bring both knees in. Good. We're in a nice little setup for Shavasana. So I recommend <laughs> most of my students say, let's do this the whole time. So you've got to really take on at least a couple minutes in relaxation. Okay, so I'll show you the setup. Now, you want to work with your back body as long as possible. Okay, so if you lift your hips up, you can brush the skin down and you feel that your lower back is very artificially flat so you feel that and then you let it rise in its natural weight now I'm gonna slide my heels away there's a little space between each of my legs and then I let my feet just go and then a nice way to broaden the back is to bring your hands up hands like karate chop and it's like you, you're expanding your hands wider apart and you let your shoulders be heavy on your back and you pause into that space where you can feel your shoulders, the backs of your shoulders, broadening down into the floor. And I feel that. Let's adjust it. I feel that broadening. And then when I feel that nice space of broadness, I bring my arms to rest along my side body with a, a gap not too big so you keep your energy contained within your whole body the limbs are open with a little bit of space palms face up and if you have a pillow to cover your eyes an eye pillow or you can allow your eyes to just close lightly or if you're not comfortable closing your eyes you can always keep them open and you let your body settle into the earth. So as you lie here, letting your back body connect downwards, you let it go. 
you let it go completely. You trust the earth underneath your body. You trust it's supporting you. You ease into it. sense of surrender. You feel your connection of the areas on the floor. You feel that connection into the ground. You allow your eyes to relax deep into the eye sockets. Feel the skin at the corners of your eyes soften. And you feel your ear, ears pulling slightly towards the floor, the natural gravitational force. Bring your attention to your jaw, the joint at your jaw. You feel as if you can allow space with time and maybe a breath or two, you allow the space to open at the hinge of your jaw, so the lower jaw just slightly falls away from the upper jaw, lips keep your mouth shut, your tongue is soft in your mouth. Feel the weight in the shoulders, elbows, backs of the hands, grounding you down. And you notice the natural curling in of your fingers and towards the palms. Feel the weight in your bony hips, the hip structure. You feel that heaviness grounding you down at the hips, each leg connecting into the earth, the top of the leg to the heels. And as you deepen your body into the ground, you feel the top of your body beginning to rest into the back body. And then you feel the movement of your breath. nostrils, feel the back of your throat, where your belly rises, and you feel it leaving your body, a subtler, different quality, warmer breath leaves your body. As you begin to increase your inhale, you feel that growth of your body, the expansion outwards and upwards with the in-breath. And you feel it coming back in. Gently breathe in and start to wake up the body, moving one foot, moving the other foot, moving your fingers. And when you feel ready to take your stretch, you feel a full body. Take a nice big stretch. There's no right or wrong way to do this. So, so we're leaving our or pose, or shavasana, we're bending our knees so our feet are on the floor, and we're going to roll over to our right side, and we're going to stay there on that right side. You're going to bring your knees in towards your belly and tuck into a little ball. And 
then let your left hand come down to that side and use your left hand to push yourself up. You feel your own body weight as you push up. And now you can keep your eyes closed or open them softly, but we're gonna make our way into a comfortable seated position. And spend a moment to align your spine Feel even. And we'll rest our hands, backs of the hands with our palms up on our legs. And let your heart space open. Breathe in and feel your collarbones widen. Feel this beautiful flower opening petal by petal at your heart space as you receive the breath in. And we bow our head into that space. So bring our hands as well into our heart space. Now it's a light resting of our hands together, but energized behind the palms. So you press the hands together evenly. And we can breathe in and let our thumbs come up to our third eye, the space between our eyebrows. Give a light push in. And bring your thumbs to your lips and rest them back into your heart space and we bow into our fingers and then let your hands return back to your legs give a nice little nudge in your legs with your hands and lift your gaze up and we'll finish our practice saying namaste thank you for joining me and i hope to see you again enjoy that practice